enough about that then, let's go on to point, uh, point three. Hmm? In some ways this is uh, a specific example of the sort of thing I've been talking about, so I won't dwell on it too much. But I've called it briefly, distinguish fact from value judgment. I found in practice that this is something that people find very difficult to do. Hmm? Suppose I say, it's raining. This is a fact. Raindrops are falling. This is a fact. Hmm? Water is falling. Huh? This is a fact. <coughs> the weather's bad. That's a value judgment. Hmm? But we don't always realize that. Because rain may be bad for us, but it's only bad for us and from our point of view. It's bad if we wanted to go out for a walk. But what about the farmer? The farmer may not have seen rain for several weeks and he may be delighted that it's raining. He, he might say to his wife, oh, look at the good weather we're having. I'm so pleased it's raining. It's fine. You, you experience this very much uh, in India. At the, end of the uh, at the end of the dry season, at the end of the hot weather, when the rain starts falling, people are delighted, those first few drops of rain. Because if the monsoon is delayed, it means starvation and it means death for thousands of people, perhaps tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of people. So if, if you were a tourist and you wanted to go out sightseeing and it rained, oh dear, what bad weather. No, they wouldn't be agreeing with you. They would be thinking it's fine. They'd be dancing with joy, you know, like the peacocks. The peacocks are supposed to, to dance with joy, you know, when the first rain cloud appears. And people would be doing that. So for, to, to them, that rain, would be a good thing and not a bad thing. Their value judgment would be different from yours. And we very often confuse these. Yeah? And we confuse these especially when it comes to people. Hmm? We might say, for instance, oh, that person's well, not a very good person. But that's not a statement of fact. If you want to, to, to put it in factual terms, you'll have to say what that person has actually done and then give your value judgment upon what he or she has done separately. Another person might give a quite different uh, you know, value uh, judgment. And we find this even in the case of different religions. Huh? Uh, I'll give you an example. This, this, uh, this example is a bit indirect. It arises in connection with this question of blasphemy that I've been thinking about recently, especially in connection with the Salman Rushdie case. Uh, you can't really have a law of blasphemy uh, because different people consider different things to be blasphemous. Yeah? For instance, to an orthodox Christian, if you say that Jesus Christ is not God, that's blasphemy. And hundreds of years ago you could have been burned at the stake for that. But to a Muslim, if you say that Jesus Christ is God, that's blasphemy. Not just the opposite, because, well, God is God. There is, only, there is only God. To associate anyone with God, as uh, the Muslims term it, is blasphemy. So they believe that the, uh, the Christian in associating you know, Jesus Christ with, with God is, is uh, you know, committing blasphemy. So there are two completely different value judgments you know, about this, this, this person, Jesus. Everybody agrees, well most people agree that he lived, some people don't. Huh? But if you accept as a, you know, a, a fact that he lived, that, he's the, the, that he is the son of God or that he is God is one value judgment and that he isn't, that he's just an ordinary man, uh, well that, that's another value judgment and these are quite incompatible. Yeah? So um, th the term blasphemy would mean something quite different for a Christian and for a Muslim. Hmm? Uh, what for, a, for a, a Christian would be blasphemy to deny uh, for a Muslim is blasphemy to assert. They're concerned with the same facts, but the value judgments in this case are completely different. So I hope the example is not too abstruse or too indirect. But you can see what I'm getting at. So when you, when you make what seems to yourself to be a value judgment on anything or any person, ask yourself, well, what is the fact behind this? Try to separate out the fact and to see your value judgment as separate from your fact. Hmm? 
because sometimes people think they're disagreeing about facts when really they're disagreeing about value judgments, which is a quite different thing. And a lot of confusion that arises in discussion between people, uh, even in the pages of Shabda sometimes, uh, springs from the fact that, um, that value judgments are not sufficiently distinguished from statements of fact. Hmm? Enough for that thing. Hmm?